Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yahad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Able and On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists. Welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I've always been your host, Lauren Siler. And before we get to today's topic, we'd like to say um, special thanks to Washington County Mental Health uh, and other uh, agencies that have um, pro helped promote Ableton on Air, including the um, Association for the Blind Vermont, the Division for the Blind Vermont, Higher Ability, and many other agencies that have helped able then on there um, through the years and through these last uh, couple of months. Uh, um, Arlene is not here today. Uh, she is recuperating in the hospital, and we wish her a speedy recovery. I'm Lauren Seiler. On today's um, topic, we will talk about a radio program in Argentina and other uh, mental health uh, uh, services and um, resources um, that I'm going to give you. Uh, let it, let's talk about a special uh, radio program in Argentina called uh, La Colif uh, it's called Radio La Colifata. Radio La Colifata, which uh, I'm just letting you know, and don't take this offensively, but uh, Colifata in Spanish means uh, it's called The Crazy Woman. So Radio La Colifata, The Crazy Woman, is it, the world's first radio station broadcast inside a mental hospital, a non-commercial radio station, and was founded by, uh, founded at La Borda uh, Psychologist, uh, well, uh, El, El Borda is a, uh, is a hospital in, El, in, in um, Argentina, and it was founded by psychologist uh, Alfredo Oliveira in, in 1990. Oliveira began recording patients' discussions centered around a particular theme and transmitted the recording on the radio, which listeners called in with responses, uh, and these psychiatric patients uh, in a, main, a makeshift studio. Support comes from, the, from Argentine announcer Leo uh, 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 Lalo Mir and the Argentine footballer Oscar Ruggin. Uh, um, programming includes sports, and the Border Tango Club. Um, the station produces uh, uh, micro programs 
uh, four hours a week, which are distributed in dozens of radio stations, both in Argentina and Latin America. Psychiatric facilities in other countries, such as Argentina, Chile, Germany, Spain, and Uruguay, have subsequently developed similar programs. Um, and um, let's go up here in terms of uh, La Colefata. Uh, so uh, it's a it's a radio program done by psychiatric patients. Um, but the history of the um, psychiatric hospital in which it's part of is called um, Hospital in Interdisciplinary and um, which means interdiscipline uh, hospital of um, Tiburcio Borda, nicknamed El Borda, is the largest and most notable psychiatric hospital in Argentina. Situated, um, uh, situated on top of a hill next to a child and adolescent neuropsychiatric hospital, uh, which is called Garcia Tobar. Um, now, in terms of uh, La Colifata, let's look that up, get more information about the radio station. Um, okay, so, uh, here we go. Uh, I will um, tell you where it's broadcasted. Okay, so um, it's uh, broadcasted in uh, Buenos Aires. So let's go here. Um, there's a documentary, uh, for those that would like to know more about it, uh, you can go to www.imdb.com, and there is a documentary about the radio station La Colifata, uh, which is spelled um, C-O-L-I-F-A-T-A. Um, is a radio station run entirely by the patients of um, J.T. Borger Psychiatric uh, Hospital in Buenos Aires. Recorded and broadcasted from the hospital gardens, it is heard all over the world, and it is, and it is a station that questions the limit between madness and reason. Um, we are not making fun of people that have gotten psychiatric help or help for mental challenges. But there are ways to deal with uh, anger and there are d ways to deal with mental challenges by um, doing radio and doing television, um, you know, to uh, be part of society and as uh, part of work. Um, so this documentary is uh, about one hour and 33 minutes. Um, so it is recorded in Buenos Aires, recorded and broadcast from the hospital gardens. It is heard um, all over the world. And it, it, it's a station that questions the limit between madness and reason. Um, a station that breaks down a dividing wall between sane and mad. It gives the word Um, let's go down here. Um, it breaks down, uh, dividing wall between sane and mad, and it gives the word, it gives the word to those a voice that have been denied for too long. The mad or people that have mental challenges, it shows us many things, and we, the sane, are incapable of seeing. Um, 
um, this was a uh, a um, someone that wrote about the movie. So, um, more information on Radio La Colifata and the documentary, you can go to www.imdb.com. Um, and let, let's go here. I'm going to go to YouTube and uh, point out parts of the documentary. Oops. Okay, so um, let's also go to um, La Colefata. Um, the actual radio station has a YouTube channel. So I'm going to click here on, uh, we're going to stop this for a minute. Um, stopping the video. Um, there is a trailer that was produced um, by La Cote Fata, and you can go on YouTube. Uh, for more information on that, you can go to www.youtube.com forward slash La Cote Fata. But it also can be um, seen, um, La Cote Fata can be uh, seen uh, on internet radio as well. Uh, so I'm going to get that piece. So you can know when or where to um, look. Ah, uh, here we go. I got it. I got the actual page. Okay. So um, La Colifata. Um, you can go to, um, on screen, you'll see uh, their website. So, Radio La Colifata, that's C-O-L-I-F-A-T-A. -A. It's a, um, La Colifata is a non-governmental organization classified under civil association, La Colifata Mental Health and Communication, um, that develops activities in the area of invest investigation and mental health services, utilizing media to create uh, spaces of help. The radio station is commonly known as LT22 Radio. La Colifata is a radio station that is current and uh, former uh, current and former um, internal patients of the Border Hospital B O. RDA Hospital in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and it is the first radio station to air within a psychiatric hospital. Um, so if you want um, to find out about um, La Colefata, you can go to www.lacolefata.com uh, forward slash Argentina. Uh, or AR for Argentina. So that's uh, La Colifata is L A C O L I F A T A dot com forward slash AR. Um, so you can go to the following link. Um, and as you go up top here, um, there is a, a bar. Home Institute, it talks about the institution, the programs, the radio station, uh, so on and so forth. Um, and La Colipata is located, uh, if you want to find out more uh, information on that uh, radio program, the address is um, Buenos Aires. Um, Argentina, so it is Ferre Avilés, um, 3740 DPTO 
Goliad, um, Audemar, Buenos Aires, Argentina, and um, you can email them at lacolifata at gmail.com. Um, and we can go uh, down if you want to find out more uh, about them. Uh, they're in English and Espan and uh, Spanish, um, and they also have La Colifata TV. Um, so if you want to find out more information, let's actually go to the TV page. Um, it's in Spanish, but there's also English um, as well. And you can look at different uh, videos. So for more information on La Colifata, you can go to www.lacolifata.com forward slash uh, um, AR for Argentina. Um, during this show, we're, uh, we're going to be giving uh, more, um, more information on services of mental health. Um, we cannot make fun of anyone that has mental health issues. Matter of fact, there are, since we're talking about radio and uh, buzzwords and all, all that kind of thing, um, so let's go to words that describe Mental challenge. Okay. Um, so there are certain words here that um, some you can use, some you can't. Um, words that describe people with mental challenge. Insane challenge. Intellectually challenged, psychologically challenged, uh, spiritually challenged, mental problem, uh, so on and so forth. Um, well, that's, let me see, that's a thesaurus, but that's uh, words not to use. Around mental challenge. Okay, there are certain words not to use around with someone with a mental challenge. I'm, I'm getting to that. Um, 250 labels, according to the National Institute of Medicine and Health, um, there's 250 labels used to stigmatize people with mental illness. Um, we must avoid certain uh, things uh, in certain words, in certain stigmas. So, um, you cannot use certain uh, w things, um, certain words to describe someone with mental illness. Okay? The following words. Do not use... Um, the following words. Do not use disturbed, nuts, confused, psycho, uh, spastic, crazy, uh, depressed, um, disabled, mad, unpredictable, insane, loony, or mental. Do not, um, do not use just plain ill. Do not use loony bin. Uh, screw, do not say a person has screw, a screw loose. Do not, um, do not say the person is stressed. Uh, do not say the person is brain dead, demanding, or demented. Um, um, do not use the word freak, weird, uh, screw loose, especially uh, confused. Uh, do not say the person is dumb. Um, so on. So if you want to find out more information on the words not to use, uh, you can go to www.ncbi.nlm. Uh, um, this is the, the actual, let's go up. 
for it's the National Institute of Health, Library, and Medicine um, with Biotechnology Information. So this is a library that you can find out more information on uh, what words to use and what not to use from the National Institutes of Health. Um, t today's show is basically um, more information on mental illness and, uh, and other ways to control, uh, I'm not saying control your mental illness, but ways that you can... Um, uh, use it to your advantage to educate people. So we have Ableton on air here in Vermont and other places have, um, especially with La Colifata, uh, which is um, at 100.2 internet um, radio in Argentina. Um, it is a program that um, people with um, psychiatric challenges um, are using it uh, to educate people. So we should not make fun at all of people with uh, mental and physical challenges because um, that's not the way we advocate and that's not the way we help people. So for more information on um, La Colifata, you can go to www.lacolifata.com um, uh, and .org. Um, you know, let's look it up again. So, La Colifata. Uh, so, Radio La Colifata is www.lacolifata.com forward slash AR. Uh, look up their um, radio program. Look and and listen to their radio program because they also have a TV show. And for more information on uh, any mental health um, program or services here in Vermont, you can go to www.wcmhs.org, that's Washington County Mental Health, who uh, who sponsors Able Den On Air. Uh, for more information on, on Able Den On Air and anything that you have seen to, on today's program uh, about mental health services, you can go to www orcamedia.net that, that's able then on air um, again thank you for joining us on this edition of able then on air Arlene is not here today um, please um, look and listen to that radio show La Colifata uh, it, it's a very important resource for people with mental and psychiatric challenges uh, mental challenges especially overseas in Argentina. Um, um, they are our friends, and they will, they will be promote, helping to promote Able Den On Air as well. Uh, just to let you know that Able Den On Air will also, um, and we will give you more information as the weeks progress, um, Able Den On Air will be having our own internet radio program. Um, and radio station, and we will do be doing that as part of Able Then On Air here in the studio um, with our internet radio as well uh, uh, as Able Then On Air. So, um, for more information on Able Then On Air, again, you can go to www.orchimedia.net. I'm Lawrence Seiler. See you next time. Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, 
the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Abel the Nonair has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Abel the Nonair is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists.